Okay guys, as you can see, uh, the hillbilly did a really great job on the repair. Uh, we thought all this time that we've had a clog or the air vent that was venting the commode was messed up and clogged up and we thought that was the problem and that's what we had to fix. So he spent all this time um, making the piece for the floor. He actually sanded it down and stained it a little darker so it matched the wood floor in here a little better so it didn't look like a hack job. Um, it would take a lot. Anyway, since I haven't gotten these walls in here worked on yet, so uh, he, he really did a wonderful job, but we still don't have an upstairs bathroom yet. Uh, we found out after we went through all of that, we didn't, the hillbilly did. Um, I did a little bit to help, but still. Uh, after we went through all of that and got um, the repair done, the commode back up, uh, even had to buy a new line because with raising the commode up a little bit, the uh, piping was too short. So he went this morning, got another piece. Um, we still don't have an upstairs bathroom because it wasn't a clog. And as we found out when he tried to go down and clean it out and even went up on the roof and down through the air vent and everything, there was no clog to be found. We have such hard water in our area that it has actually clogged up everything in this old commode over the years. Um, when I say we have hard water, just to give you an example, we usually go through a coffee pot every four to six months. Uh, yes, we use vinegar. Yes, we clean them out. It doesn't matter here. The water is so calci uh, calcified. That's not the right word. Um, anyway, you know what I mean. There's so much calcium in the water. Uh, calcified. There we go. There's so much calcium in the water that it just builds up in those pipes and no amount of vinegar that I can use will clean them out. Um, we have had a lot of drainage issues in the house. I think that calcium contributes to a lot of it. The little um, spigots that the water actually comes out of in the bowl were all clogged up and the hillbilly did get some of those unclogged but it's just not going to be enough. Um, I would go get CLR and try to clean them out more so than what vinegar could do but there's so much calcium in the back of this tank and in those little vents in the bowl itself that it's just not going to be a feasible option for us. Um, I don't see spending 20, 30, 40 bucks buying more and more CLR trying to clean this stuff out. So um, we can't afford just to run out and buy a new system. Um, I think that I do know somebody that might have one that will uh, either let me have it or give it to me really reasonable. I need to wait until my mother gets off work this evening and uh, I'll call her and have her talk to them. It's her neighbor. Uh, and the reason why I think this is because I helped my father fix the apartment up over top of the garage up. Uh, he had some leaking problems. Um, nobody was living up there, so it really didn't matter. But my little brother, my youngest brother, he's only 20, uh, he has come back home for a while and uh, is staying up there. So I wanted to finish all the plumbing. The apartment was actually constructed for me after I got out of college. That was... Um, my first little apartment, I guess, back here. Um, so it's gotten a lot of use, but uh, he had to put a new commode in because it actually froze up inside underneath the commode and a big hunk of porcelain had come out and that's why. <laughs> we, we were fixing all these pipes and everything, trying to make sure we had everything, you know, and then it was raining in the garage. Um, my father actually had another one in the building we cleaned it up and he installed it. As we were doing that, the neighbor came over um, and they're really good people uh, and they told him that they had a spare one if he needed it. So that's why I know there's one out there. So if we can get that one um, at a reasonable price, then we'll have another day to have to install another one, but then it'll be working. So it might be a little bit, um, my dogs are going off downstairs. Maybe I have company again. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, probably some kids out the street. But anyway, as soon as I get that done, I'll update you again. But um, like I said, as you can see, the hillbilly did nothing wrong. Um, he did really good work. I'm really proud of him. It looked really nice. I was all excited I was going to get to go to the bathroom up here again and not have to fall down the stairs. So I'll just have to be really, really careful for a little longer. And I'll update you again when we have something more up here go to go on. Um, Right now, he's uh, downstairs mixing up some more uh, 
tomatoes for me and I'm going to run them through the little machine and I promised a video so I'm going to go down and do that video for you here in just a little bit too. So I'll get this one up and probably this evening I'll have a tomato video up for you. So hope you guys are enjoying me. Talk to you later. Bye.